My one thing is Thanksgiving leftover dumplings. Here at the Spruce Eats, we've been thinking about Thanksgiving since the summertime. We've been creating new recipes, we've been shooting all these great videos so that you can be making your best Thanksgiving meal. Part of that is we have a lot of leftovers. I thought it'd be really fun to pile everything into a dumpling that you can fry up now and enjoy, or you can freeze and save for later. We're gonna start by chopping up a few pieces of our turkey. So you just wanna get it into small bits because you want all the little flavors of Thanksgiving in there. So I'm just breaking up the stuffing a little bit because after it's been in the fridge, it kind of lumps up. All right, so we're gonna add some of this turkey. Up next, we'll chop up some green beans. Just do some little pieces. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, you know? It looks like if I have enough greens, and I'll take it from there. If you're trying to get kids to eat those leftover green beans, sneaking them into a Thanksgiving dumpling is probably the easiest way to do it. I bet you no one's gonna realize. So I'm just gonna mix that all together. And I'm not adding any extra seasonings, really, because, you know, the whole point of leftovers is that you've already seasoned your turkey, your green beans, and your stuffing with all those amazing herbs and spices. What you do need to do, though, is because it can be a little dry, especially if you're using stuffing, you know, to add some chicken broth to kind of introduce some moisture so that when you're frying the dumplings up later, they're not gonna be like too stale and dry tasting. It won't taste like leftovers. <laughs> we have this big bowl of filling that's ready to go. I have my dumpling wrappers, which you can pick up at your local Asian supermarket. Take one wrapper. You also need just a small bowl of water. Let's add some of the filling. It's about like a tablespoon. Take a little bit of the water and just rim out along the edges. You fold it into this little, ooh, escaped filling. A little bit of this half moon pocket. You seal up the one side and you start pleating. So we're holding the back still and we're just moving the front of the dumpling wrapper along, taking a finger and pinching it down. So I'm gonna finish up one more pleat and then just like pinch out the end closed. You actually want to be careful and not overfill your dumpling because when you're cooking it, whether you're frying it or boiling it or steaming it, you don't want it to explode. They're delicious, but it's gonna be a little messy. So we have a pan that is heated right now. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of oil. And the way I like to cook my dumplings is to do the steam fry method, which is how you get the wrappers cooked, but still get those really nice golden crispy bottoms that are so great with pot stickers. And then we're just gonna take our dumplings. Ooh, you hear the sizzling. That's the oil starting to crisp up the bottoms. Now we just add a little bit of water and that's what's gonna cook through the dumpling skins. We just drop a lid on and give it about like somewhere between five to 10 minutes. In this case, we're not really cooking the dumpling filling. Everything's already done. So it should be faster than if you were cooking like a raw, you know, ground pork filling, for example. Looks like these are about done. I'm gonna check. Ooh, see, the wrappers are all translucent, which means they're cooked through. Just gonna pick up one of them and see how the bottoms are looking. So the bottom is all nice and crispy and golden, which is just the way we want our dumplings. Our dumplings are done, and all that we're missing is a nice little dipping sauce. So if you have leftover gravy, you can go ahead and use some of that. I kind of like a sweet, salty play, so I have some leftover cranberry sauce here. I'm grating just a little bit of ginger to add like an extra kick of flavor. Nice, crispy bottom dumpling. Just dip it into the sauce here. Take a bite. Mmm. It's all the best flavors of Thanksgiving in this really crunchy, salty, and with the cranberry sauce, sweet package. Such a fun thing to do for Thanksgiving and also so fun to eat. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to The Spruce.